Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of the Superbike Build, Yamaha R3 Superbike by TSC Industries. In this episode, we will be showing you some of what's going on this week in the shop. We've taken off the exhaust. Uh, we are determined to tune this motorcycle on the dyno per cylinder. So we got ourselves some bungs that we will be welding on, putting holes in the header. It will enable us to put in these wideband O2 sensors. We'll be able to sense what each cylinder is doing fuel-wise and then tune it appropriately. The two cylinders on this bike actually run a vastly different amount of air through them because of airbox geometry, different flow parameters through the head and the exhaust. So I want to be able to cater the fuel mixture to each cylinder and that way we'll free up a little bit more horsepower and a little bit more torque or at least that's the concept that we're willing to believe in. We will do that and we'll let you guys know what happened. What else is going on? The chassis geometry has to change a little bit. We're gonna try to go up on the rear shock a little bit. We have a good amount of adjustment left within this, within this shock. We'll be able to raise it up a little bit. Um, so we will try that, test it next time at the track. We'll also try to lower the front. Last time, I think in the last episode I mentioned that the bike was fighting me through turns, so that will be our method for combating that. We'll test it and see what happens. We actually have a racing event coming up at Roebling Road Raceway with the FMRA. I think it's the 26th and the 27th of June. It's all the next to last weekend in June, so we'll get some good footage there. We'll be running a couple different races. I believe both me and Alex Ferreira will be taking the R3s up there. We'll be racing the Super Sport Machine and the Super Bike Machine, and the Moto3 and the Grand Corsa uh, races with that organization. What else is going on here? We've procured another head and we are going to try a different porting method on this one. We will also deck it I believe we decided to go 15 thousandths of an inch less. Um, we'll firm that up after we look at the numbers again, and then we'll send this to the machine shop and we'll shave off the appropriate amount. You can see I already have it all disassembled, took the valves out, took the cams out, all everything is pretty much off, so this is ready to go. We've inspected the valve seats. They look pretty good. Um, we are gonna do a three angle valve job on on these seats so they will get cleaned up and they will have the edges broken yet again for better smoother flow other than that this is all pretty standard stuff so that's it for this segment we'll see you in the next one all right you guys we are going to be welding in some bungs onto this exhaust i've already measured it put a couple holes in the header the appropriate length from the head. I'm going to aim to thread these Bosch Lambda sensors in there. This is the actual bong that I'm welding on. I already have one tacked in one place there. I'm going to tack it on the other side now.
completed one of these bungs. It's already on there. Let's see if our lambda sensor will screw in now. Hopefully I didn't distort the threads too much. Uh, looks all good. Looks like it'll bottom out. We'll be good to go here. All right, so our exhaust is back in. We just need to tighten up some components, final alignment, and then that will be ready to go. Our bungs are in, the plugs are in for now. I didn't tighten them yet, but uh, tomorrow at the dyno, we will unscrew these, put our AFR sensors in there, and we'll be off to tuning land. See you guys at the dyno. And we're back in the shop. The dyno session today was amazing. I had a lot of fun. It was exciting. We started off with the old map. It was rippled up and the power delivery was kind of how I reported to you guys in previous episodes. We were able to smooth it out. Being able to tune the bike per cylinder and seeing what's happening with the air fuel ratio is really crucial. Now I really see that. We've sort of done that with our R1 where we have four cylinders, we were measuring two separate banks of one, two, and three and four. Now on this bike, it's really, really, really crucial. And the numbers don't lie. We're able to up the horsepower by 1.58, and that's 35.17 over stock, 31.17% over stock. Uh, our max horsepower was 46.54 at 11,460 RPM. That's actually a little bit higher than our previous runs with the previous setup. And uh, it seems as though John's new uh, cam degree really did what it was supposed to. It raised the, the horsepower peak in the whole horsepower range. Now, what we, what we were able to do in this dyno session is really smooth the delivery and whereas before the bike would fall on its face after 11.5, now we were able to carry sort of like a, almost a plateau. It wasn't negative, but it wasn't falling on its face. Before it was coming down about four horsepower by the time you hit red line. Now we were just about subtracting one horsepower, but with a very gradual decrease. What that's gonna do is as the bike is shifted from red line back to the operating range is gonna keep pulling faster through that range of RPMs. So I think we're gonna have some really good results. The torque increase was only, I think 0.2. We went up to 23.31 foot pounds at 9,700 RPM. It's really just a 1% increase. 
nothing to write home about except if you look at the graph that the graphs that I compared between the old runs and the, these new runs that we just did even though the the peak wasn't much much higher it was it was higher in more regions and it also didn't fall on its face after 11.5 so if you take a look at the current graph versus old graphs and use something I call uh, the, the motor potential uh, which is basically just integrating on the area under the, the entire curve we have made big strides to unlock more potential out of this bike. I'm really, really excited to go race this thing at FMRA, at Roebling, Roebling Road Raceway, uh, June 23rd, 24th. It is not this coming weekend, but the next. We'll have some great footage for you guys. We'll do some qualifying runs. We'll have some race starts on video. Uh, both me and Alex Ferreira are going up. He's gonna be racing the Super Sport Machine, so we'll get to duke it out in Moto3 and um, some other classes. We'll bring you guys some footage. I think you guys are gonna enjoy that. For now, I wanna thank you for watching. See you next time.